Hello everyone and welcome to this channel and this is the lecture series on consumer behavior. Now in this particular lecture series, I'll be bringing you to a journey of understanding the importance of consumer behavior in the context of marketing. Now the purpose and the intention of this particular video is to enable the students to understand the basic concepts of consumer behavior and if you are an expert already in the field of marketing, this uh, video is not intended for you. Uh, this video is intended for the beginners who are still at the point of learning the concepts of marketing and most especially the field of understanding the consumer behavior. There are discussions that are quite advanced that requires prior knowledge in the field of marketing. Now, since the audience are beginners, I will be doing my best as a lecturer for this uh, series that I'll be, giving, I'll be able to give an understandable way of sharing with you the different principles and concepts of uh, consumer behavior. Now, we proceed with our discussion by looking at the objectives. What are we going to learn in this a particular video now in this video we will be understanding the concept of consumer behavior and of course we will highlight the significance of consumer behavior research in helping business stay ahead of the competition so these are the objectives. now I hope that uh, you will achieve these objectives by the end of this particular video now we begin with the different definitions of what is consumer behavior. Now, consumer behaviors are defined in several manners by different authors. By the way, if you see a QR code that is displayed in your screen, that means that, that there are sources that we are coding by which we source the information that we're discussing in this particular sh slide now. Images also that are taken in this or that are displayed in these particular slides or slides that will be displayed in your screen are taken in Pexa Bay. Now, consumer behavior refers to the acquisition, consumption, and disposal of products and services, time, and ideas by decision-making units. Now, remember that in this particular definition, it's it's not only focusing on individual persons. It could be organizations, institutions, government institutions, including non-government institutions, NGOs, and private, co private corporations, meaning each of these institutions, and also persons, of course, individual persons, have different behaviors. And that's what we're going to try to understand in this lecture series that I'm preparing for you. Now, consumer behavior is the study of how people buy, what they buy, and when they buy, and why they buy things. If I'm not mistaken, this is a quotation directly from Philip Cutler, an expert in the field of marketing. Now, this is a study of how people buy things. And what they buy, when they buy, and why. The reasons behind the purchase decisions that is also part and parcel of what we call as consumer behavior. Now, consumer behavior is a dynamic interaction of affect, cognition, behavior, and the environment by which human beings conduct and exchange aspects of their lives meaning it affects the human behavior, the human thinking, the human feeling, and the environment that surrounds a particular individual person, individual person, or a particular institution. Those factors may have something of an influence into the behavior of each customer when they decide to purchase things. Now, Another definition is consumer behavior refers to the action, thought processes, 
and decision-making patterns of individuals or a household when they purchase goods or services for personal or household use. Now remember, it is emphasized in this definition that is personal and or for household use. But again, consumer behavior is not limited to personal or individual use or let's say household use or for the use of the family. Because it could also be, as I've already told you in the beginning of this video, that it could be understood in the context of institutions and corporations. Now, the definition continues that it includes a variety of elements that influences consumer decision-making, including psychological, social, cultural, and, and uh, situational variable. We'll be discussing all of these things in this lecture series, and I hope that you will be with me until the end of this lecture series. Now, another uh, definition is that consumer behavior is a vast and complex field of study that seeks to understand why individuals or households make a specific purchase decision. Meaning that this particular study is a complex thing. It is a complex field whereby those that focuses in the study of understanding consumer behavior have to understand individuals or households in their process of deciding what to purchase and why. Now, why do we need to know the behavior of our customers? Now, understanding consumer behavior is important because it enables the firm to decide successful marketing plans and produce goods and services that satisfy their target market demands and desires. What does it mean? Well, understanding your customers brings you at an advantage in the sense that you already know how your customers react to certain stimuli or to certain actions that would enable you to directly target their interests in order that they will be able to decide a certain purchase decision by the products that you offer. Now, what are the positive implications of knowing and understanding your consumer's behavior or customer's behavior either way? Now, it identifies, number one, it identifies and understands their target market. By analyzing consumer behavior, businesses can gain insights into the needs, preferences, and behavior of their target market. It helps business tailor their marketing efforts and develop products and services that are more likely to resonate to their target customers. So in effect, you will no longer be spending a lot of money, wasting a lot of resources just because you want to reach your customers or probably gain the interest of your target market. Because you already know how your customers and consumers behave. And so therefore, your marketing strategies will be directly targeted towards those particular characteristics based on your research. Another one is you develop an effective marketing strategies, as I've already told you in the first positive implication. Consumer behavior research can help businesses develop marketing strategies that are more likely to be effective. For example, by understanding the factors that influence consumer decision-making. Businesses can create marketing messages and campaigns that better connect with their target customers. So meaning, you will no longer be wasting tons of money just and in order to connect to your target customers. 
Another positive implication of knowing and understanding your consumer's behavior or customer's behavior is improve customer satisfaction. Understanding consumer behavior can also help business improve their customer satisfaction by developing products and services that meets the needs and wants of their target customers. Businesses can create a positive customer experience that can lead to repeat business and customer loyalty. Meaning, if your customers are satisfied with the products, both goods and services that you offer them because you know exactly what they need and you know exactly how they decide and what interests them, the most probable thing that would happen is they would have repeat purchases. So business will grow. And of course, it would lead to customer loyalty, whereby the customers will be patronizing the brand, your identity, your brand, your business. And so it is important that we know our customers' behaviors. Another one is you'll be able to stay competitive. Now, in a competitive marketplace, most especially in the modern time where everyone in the world is competing with each other through the use of social media, through the use of e-commerce websites where everyone can sell anything in the cyber world and it can it can be delivered all throughout the world by very complex distribution systems and so understanding consumer behavior in this particular context is essential for business to stay ahead of the competition by staying up to date with the latest consumer trends behavior patterns, businesses can adapt to changing customer preferences and remain competitive in their industry. And so, if you want to be competitive in your industry, you have to at least step ahead against your competitors in that specific niche in the market. Now, there are also negative implications when you don't know your customer's behavior. Now, number one, you will be able to produce or at least implement an ineffective marketing strategies because without knowing your customer's behavior or consumer's behavior, businesses may develop marketing strategies that don't resonate with their target audience. This can lead to wasted marketing efforts and ineffective advertising campaigns. And for the information of everyone, advertising is very expensive. Let's say, for example, if you want to advertise in YouTube or probably in Facebook, every time that the viewers watch even a portion of your advertising, of your advertising campaign, you will be paying them. Every one of them. So every view, whether or not they like it or they don't, you will really have to pay for it. And so that's a problem. If you don't know exactly who your customers are, what are their desires, what, they, what do they need, you will really have problems in Directly, directing is specifically to your target customers or consumers the message that would make them interested with your product. So, ineffective marketing strategies. Another one is poor product development. You'll just be imagining things. Oh, I will offer this particular product. We will invent this. We will innovate this. We will provide these particular products to the target Customers, but modern marketing landscape 
or modern business landscape don't work that way. If businesses don't know that they're what their customer wants or need, they may develop products that don't meet the demands in the marketplace. This can lead to poor sales and negative reviews, damaging the reputation of the business. And you know, it's, it's very hard when dealing with failures like this because most of the time, failures in product development is expensive. It entails cost in the development of the product and then later on you just scrap it because it's not successful. At, in this particular moment, in the modern time, in, the, in this world of competitiveness, you really have to think what, what my customers want, what my customers need, and then by that question or by asking questions related or surrounding that particular thought, you can investigate through research what your customers want and what your customers need. This time, it's no longer about, I love this product. This product is what I want to sell. That will not work in the modern business landscape. You have to think the customer's way. And not only think, you really have to ask the customers in order that they can provide very significant and important input into the development of products. Now, another negative uh, implication if you don't know how your customers behave is that you will miss opportunities. Without understanding the consumer behavior, businesses may miss out on opportunities to meet the emerging needs and or capitalize on trends in the marketplace. If you stay in the 1960s, forgive me, but that business model will not work. Every moment in time, just like a song, changes, especially in the business field or in the field of marketing. In the marketplace, when people negotiate, when, when certain businesses develop products, they look at how consumers behave. What are the trends? What are the different needs that may arise for a particular situation? We just have been into a, what we call as a pandemic. And needs were different during the pandemic era. And now it's also different. And it was just a matter of how many months or probably just a couple of years. And that is how important it, it is knowing what your customers needs. Otherwise, you will miss out opportunities. You should have been successful if you offer certain products that meets the demands of your customers. But because you failed to understand how your customers behave, you missed out the opportunity. Another one is reduce customer satisfaction. Most especially if you introduce products that don't meet the demand of your customers. When businesses don't understand the, the, the customers, they may not be able to provide a level of service and quality products that customer expects. This can lead to reduce customer satisfaction, lower rates of repeat business or repeat purchases. In turn, this will hurt the business badly. Now, the last one is decreased competitiveness. Businesses that don't understand consumer behavior 
may be less competitive in their industry. Competitors who do understand consumer behavior may be able to better meet the needs of the marketplace and attract more customers as a result. Now let's go back to our objective before we end this video. Did you understand the concept of consumer behavior? Can you highlight the significance of consumer behavior research in helping business stay ahead of competition? If you do, congratulations, you learned something in this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.